Otherwise, we've seen the Chargers having so much success running the ball. There's Reynolds will again hand it off to August. And he will run it in for a Chicago West Chargers touchdown. <laughs> And the Chargers put six on the board with ease. August and Reynolds doing work here on offense for the Chargers. Here's Austin Tiffany going for the Point extra here. And that kick is good. The Chargers pull within one of time this game up. Chargers trail seven to eight. And after that scoring drive, we're going to take a break. Don't come, come back for some more Chargers football. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back. We're going to go down the sideline with Claire and Aubrey. I'm here with Sammy Cabrera, Salt Mike's Big West. Oh. Sammy, do you think the overall pride of, of the Dutch Zone has hiked since our last Big West win? Yeah, of course. And do you enjoy coming to the Dutch Zone? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're having a good time. Here we go. Tiffany kicking it off. Boy, the kind of a, a weird pitch there. Marvin Bowen's kind of getting in between the two recipients' intended targets. And he is taken down. And the Wildcats will begin on their own 28-yard line, first and 10. They look to follow up that touchdown with uh, another six on this drive. Here we go. Harrison hands it off to Brooks, who will get stopped on the play. Jared Myers with the tackle. And that'll be third down and six for the Wildcats on their own 34-yard line. Now, we wouldn't be surprised typically to see a pass on this situation, but the quarterback, Harrison, got about 50 yards passing, so... We also wouldn't be surprised to see them rush the ball on this third and six. And they will pass. He's looking for an open man. Ball thrown around. And dropped by Tyler Cunningham. He would have known for it. He may have gone the interception, but that's still good for a 
stop on that on that third down. That brings a fourth down and six. And here comes the punt team back deep to receive the punt will be Montoy Perry. Hopefully that uh, stop on defense will uh, cut off the Wildcats momentum as there's a flag on the thrown by the ref. Illegal substitution on the offense. Five yard penalty remains. And that was an illegal substitution penalty on the Wildcats, which will push them back. On their own, about 29 yard line. There we go, that was a quarterback punting it. Montoy looking for some room here, and he'll be taken down around that 45 yard line. And the Chargers will start on the 44-yard line, fairly close around the Wildcats' uh, territory. We'll be seeing if the Chargers will mix up the offense here or just go with the uh, reliable running game in Josh Reynolds and running back Mose Huggins. And Reynolds will take it. May have gone a yard or two on that play. Quarterback keeper. Gain of two on the play. Bring up second down and eight. The tackle made by people. And that is a two yard gain. That brings up second and eight. Mose Huggis is now substituted for the junior Michael Mariani in the back field. As Reynolds looking to pass, and that pass is broken up. That pass was intended for the senior Tyler Shima. Third down and eight on their own 47 yard line. Reynolds looking to pass and nearly picked off by the defense. Risky throwing in such deep coverage. Bring up a fourth down and eight. And that's fourth down and eight. Looks like the church will go for it. The logic is that they're so close, even if they don't convert. And they do punt. And a good punt at that. That ball lands right on the 10 yard line. And with that, we're going to take a break with three minutes and 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for more charge football. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And the running back, 45 Marvin Bowens. No one there to get him, as he will run it in for a touchdown.
Boy, and this is the running back we were talking about. The senior had 139 yards in their last game. And we can see why it's such success. This is a big kid. 5'10", 210 pounds can just impose his will on any defense. As you just saw him break a couple of tackles for the Wildcats touchdown. And that kick barely gets up high enough for the point extra to give the Wildcats the eight point lead. Chargers must contain that kid if they wanna come back and win this game. Almost seems like the Chargers are in disbelief here. They thought they were gonna roll over here, especially considering that the Chargers beat the Wildcats last season, but the Wildcats have a bit of a chip on their shoulder as they lost to us last year. They start this season with the loss, and they'd like nothing more than a win and getting revenge against these Chargers. So a bit of a revenge factor going into this game. Back deep to receive the kick. And here we go. And Montoy Perry. A couple of juke step there. Taken down at the 30 yard line of the Chargers. Boys look like their, uh, their quarterback, Caleb Harrison, does it all for them. As he uh, also was the kickoff man for the Wildcats. An overall athlete. there uh, debating on that flag that was thrown. Dead ball fouls. They will be assessed in the order of occurrence. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike on the return team. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike on white. There's a dead ball penalty on both teams. And it looks like they offset each other. There's also an unsportsmanlike call on the Chargers. Interesting to see how that'll factor into this call. Looks like we're resuming action here with the Chargers on their own 30-yard line. Reynolds handing it off to his running back, Huggis. Huggis 
making the stop for the Wildcats, number six, Jackson. Second down and four. And that was a six yard rush by Huggis to bring up second down and four on the 36 yard line. Now on the Chargers last outing on offense, they replaced the running back Huggis with Michael Mariani. So good to see the Chargers going back to the starting running back. They found a little confident there to switch him out, but looks like the Chargers are in there are in a dog fight so far with the Washington Wildcats. And that is a rush is played by the Chargers. They're just short of the first down. That's a manageable third down and run after that third yard rush. Third and one on the Chargers 39 yard line. Handing the ball off to Huggis who will get the Chargers that much needed first down. First down and 10. The quarterback Browns looking to pass and he will connect with Montoy Perry as his target. That's a six yard gain. Quick pass to give the Chargers a short second and And the Chargers again within uh, reaching distance of their territory, the Washington the Wildcats territory. And Reynolds looked to pass, but he will keep it as he'll do it all and get the first down for the Chargers. Down and 10. On the 43 yard line as Reynolds again looks to pass and he will get it to his target, Montoy Perry. Again, there to receive the pass. And the clock is winding down here in the first quarter. Chargers need that quick if they're gonna get this playoff. And Reynolds will hand it off to the running back. Michael Mariani with that running play. And now close out the first half of the first quarter. The Chargers trailing the Wildcats 7 to 15. And we'll be right back with more Chargers football. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees, so we provide the next best thing, friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. 
Common Sense Residential and Commercial Lending. That's Linden State Bank, 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank, big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we're back here in the second quarter, and we'd like to apologize. We had a bit of technical difficulties here in the booth. What you missed was a score by the Chargers and a failed two-point conversion. I guess they hit the line of scrimmage. They did draw within two points of the tie. They still trail 13 to 15. Casey Washington is charging down. Chargers territory, but then the defense forced a fumble, a fumble, and now the Chargers have it on their own 17-yard line. Second down as Tennis Reynolds throws. Throws it to his target, the running back, Moe's Hug is. That was about a two-yard gain. Brings up third down and eight. Third will try and convert for the first down. Reynolds looking to pass. And he'll throw a start. That ball through the hands of the intended receiver, Huggis, just couldn't hold on to it. And that will bring a fourth down and eight. And the Chargers are forced to come here on fourth down and eight. Boy. And a timeout will be taken by Topeka West. On an, inter on, on an interesting note, what you're seeing are the Chargers' alternate black uniforms. This is the first time the Chargers have ever worn these uniforms. Hopefully, uh, the, char the new uniforms will bring the Chargers good luck in a win as they make their debut here at Chuck Lower Field at Homer Sports Park. While we're at it, might as well analyze the Washington Lockhead uniforms with a bit of a ruby red color, kind of resembles Alabama's white uniforms for all you college football fans out there. As the Chargers get ready to punt away the ball, the punter, John Works, looking to receive the long snap, and he gets that off, kind of a... A short punt, not sure if that's what the punter John Works wanted. And the Wildcats will get it deep in Chargers territory. That is on the 31 yard line, first down and 10. Quarterback Harrison looking to get his Wildcats. A couple more points here as there's seven minutes and 52 seconds remaining in this second quarter. The quarterback hands it off to the running back. Much anticipated run there by the offense and Chargers defense stood him up there. Making a stop for to be the West. McBride and Scott. And that is a no Second game. Down Go, Second down to 10. Second down to 10. Here we go, Harris. 
Wilson looking to pass. He rolls down. Marvin Bowens was the intended target. Went over his head. Now bring up third down and ten. Well, interesting to see whether the Wildcats, if this circumstance comes up, with the Wildcats will try to kick a field goal. As he was up to get to see an opponent this year in this young season to even attempt a field goal, even when they are deep. They're very far away from the end zone. As the quarterback dumps it off to Marvin Bowens. And that is, brings up fourth down. That's a two yard gain by the Wildcats. And it looks like Wildcats are going to go for it. Quarterback hands it off. The pass to Javion Williams, but he will get stood up there. And the Chargers force the turnover. As Topeka West looks to pick up from where they left off, taking over on their own 26 yard line, first and 10. It was six, six minutes and 16 seconds left in this second quarter. off to the running back. He'll be taken down for a no game. Here we go, second down. As Reynolds intended target, Montoya Perry drops that pass. And that brings up third down and nine on their own 25 yard line. Push him back. Third down and 14. This third down becoming a little less manageable for the Chargers. As they resume on their own 22 yard line. Reynolds looking to pass. His target, Meyer, is taken down, but there are some flags on the play. Good 
Chargers favor bring up a much more manageable third and short and about their own 34 35 yard line 34 here we go they'll give it off to the running back Huggins who will get the first down and more taken down and down Oh, 50 yard line. Charger Nation getting loud here. That was an outstanding moment by the Chargers offense. And a timeout is taken by the Casey Washington Wildcats. And we'll be right back at these messages. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees, so we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank, 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank, big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Late in the second quarter, as the Chargers try and cap off this long drive, Reynolds passing to his intended target. Now, Perry looks like there's a foul there, most likely pass interference by the defense. Boy, on this drive, penalties have really worked in the Chargers' favor. And then he'll bring the ball to the 35-yard line in case he wants the Wildcats. And then, of course, the penalties are helping, but this is less of a penalty issue, more of a lack of discipline on the Wildcats. Chargers certainly banking off of their uh, inability to uh, keep composure as Reynolds can't quite keep control of the snap and that'll bring it back. 
Setting the game clock to five minutes and 21 seconds. Now it may not be uh, that bad of an idea for the Chargers to be more conservative here for many reasons. One, the Chargers have found a lot of their offense on the ground and running out that clock would be beneficial. An odd penalty here, pushing the Chargers back at the 46-yard line. And secondly, by rushing the ball, they'll run out the clock. As Church want to give the Wildcats no time at all to score, as we've seen in this game, the Wildcats can score in under two minutes. As Reynolds will hand the ball off to Huggis. Will be taken down for a short gain on that rush. Here we go, second down and six, second down and fifteen. Reynolds looking to pass, and that ball is picked off by the defense. Yeah, no side surprise at all. That was number eight, Caleb Harrison, who will stay on the field as, as he's also the quarterback. Boy, he is doing it all for the Washington Wildcats, doing it on offense, defense, and special teams with the punting. Certainly a huge component in the Wildcats offense as the Wildcats will take over on their own 25-yard line, first and 10. He tosses it off to the running back, who will break a couple of tackles. And get the first down. Wildcats moving on this late drive. It's four minutes and 32 seconds. Certainly enough time for this prolific rushing offense of the Wildcats to score. Running back Javion Williams will get the first down. Chargers having no answers for this rushing attack as of late. Of course, it is a little difficult to tackle Javion Williams as he weighs a hefty 220 pounds. Nothing doing on that play. All right. Let's go down to Ethan Jackson. They're going to tell us how excited they are about tonight's game. Thank you, Ethan. Timeout. 
And another timeout is taken by the Washington Wildcats. And we'll be right back after these messages. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we're back as we are just under three minutes here left in the first half. Washington, second down and ten. And he'll toss it off to the running back who will get a good five or six yards on that play. Gain of six on the play, it'll bring up a third down and four. And after that six yard rush, it's second. Oh, I'm sorry, third down and four. on that play and now bring up fourth down and that is fourth and four on the 44 yard line in a mouthful there Chargers will try to piece something together as they've only got a minute and 26 left in this first quarter. And this is first down and 10 on their own 41 yard line. There you go, Reynolds looking to pass. Caught. That's complete to Perry. Gain a four on the play to bring up second down and six. And now bring up second down and six on that four yard pass by Reynolds. As he again Looks for a target, dumps it off to Huggis, who breaks the tackle, and they take him down in Washington territory, and the Chargers have life late in the, in the first half. First and 10 Chargers at the 43 yard line. Chargers looking to get quick yardage here with the NASCAR offense, and another pass completed. And it's time out to take them out and speak to West Chargers. Come back and see if the Chargers can 
close the gap here late in the first half. Seconds left. Reynolds. Sacked by the defense. That was Derek Jones with the sack. And with just under 20 seconds remaining, it's third down and six. The Chargers. Desper here to get some points as there's a Hail Mary pass. Just about caught. Boy, that was a good as pass as you can get from the quarterback Reynolds. Unfortunately, Chargers do not convert. by the Wildcats and we'll be right back. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Seconds left. Reynolds sacked again. Reynolds brought me out of the line of scrimmage. And the Wildcats will take over on the Chargers 48 yard line. First down and 10. But four seconds remaining. Here will be, you can probably be expecting a Hail Mary. Of course, Wildcats have not seen very much success passing the ball. Please stay the game clock for three seconds. And they're resetting the clock, shaping a second off. Three seconds remaining. Fifteen. 
And this deficit isn't quite as discouraging as their deficit in last week's game. At the half, they trailed 12 to 9.
match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees, so we provide the next best thing, friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing, common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank, 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank, big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we're back at the beginning of the third quarter. Back deep to receive the kickoff is Montoy Perry. And here we go. That is kicked out of bounds, which of course draws the flag. Well, the Chargers looked a little bit frustrated and disgruntled on that last offensive possession. Hopefully with the beginning of this second half, they kind of rejuvenate themselves and get their minds straight. As Reynolds saves the play, if you couldn't see it, Reynolds bobbled that low, that low snap, tried to hand it off to the running back, but just decided, you know what, I'll take over. And Got the first down. Boy, that's got to be the most unlikely way to get your first down, of course. The defense may have been thinking that was a fake handoff. Either way you look at it, Chargers get the first down. And they're on their own 47-yard line as this time a successful handoff to the running back, Huggis. Huggis, give it the line of scrimmage. Making the stop, the initial hit, Jones. Second down and nine, Portuguese. That has a one-yard gain, second and nine. On the 48 of the Chargers. And it is a fake and oh. Reynolds. Takes the ball again. And now is in Wildcats territory. And here we go, first and 10 on up. Wildcats 33 yard line as the quarterback again will take it himself 
and he's taken down around the red zone. Boy, Reynolds taking charge of the Chargers offense. Much better start for the Chargers here. They look discombobulated at the end of the second quarter, but are now looking like a brand new team on offense. Go, go! As they take over, clean on the 20 yard line, first and 10, hands it off to the running back, Huggis. Making the hit, number 52, Peoples. That was 52 Peoples with the tackle. Second down and six. Not that four yard rush by Huggis, it's second down and six. Reynolds again will take it himself. <laughs> And now, Taking a hit number 52, Stephen Peoples. And there's a man down for KC Washington. And on this uh, injury update, we'll swing it out to a commercial. <laughs> Seven on the goal line for the Chargers. Reynolds again hassing it off to Huggis. <laughs> Who runs into the end zone for its big West Chargers touchdown for the first time tonight. The Chargers take the lead. As they lead 19 to 15 over the KC Washington Wildcats. Boy, a complete nine-day difference on offense for the Chargers. If you had seen the last few minutes of the first half. And the Chargers are feeling good vibes on offense. They're going for that two-point conversion. Reynolds will take it himself. And he gets the two-point conversion. Topeka West with the... 21 to 15 lead over Washington. Now this is the kind of offense we should be seeing more of from the Chargers, taking advantage of that poor rush defense by the Wildcats. That was a three minute drive on offense. Exactly what we need to be seeing more of from the Chargers. Now, as I previously mentioned earlier, key the game, bury them early. Well, they haven't buried them early, but they've retaken the lead, may have taken the life out of the Washington Wildcats. We've yet to see how the Wildcats will uh, respond, but certainly Wildcats can't feel very good about letting the Chargers score that quickly, but we're just gonna wait and see. Kicking off will be Austin Tiffany. And 
taken down around the 20 yard line. Bridges with the stop for the takeaways. To Bowens. The stop for the big rest, number 52, Kirch in number 82, Myers. Second down and three. And that was a seven yard gain by Bowens. Brings up second and three. And the running back, Williams, will get the Wildcats the first down. Creek was has been having trouble with those uh, two running backs, Williams and Bowens, each respectively very big. Williams, who's number 23, weighs a hefty 220 pounds and stands at 5'9". And the other running back, Marvin Bowens, number 45, 5'10 and 210. Quarterback looking to pass. Gets it to his man, Bowens. All right, let's take it down to Ethan. Hey guys, I'm down here on the bleachers with Jesse, otherwise known as the Taco, a tenor saxophonist, and Will Winkleman, otherwise known as Oscar. Uh, he is a percussionist for Topeka West. And how do you guys think tonight's halftime show went? Pretty good. You good? You guys excited for tonight's game? Yeah. You think we're going to win? No. no. No? Really? Yes. All right, well, no, uh, I'll leave you guys to your disencouragement. Back to you. And thank you for that. Clip. And that is third down and Go two. <laughs> and flags are thrown everywhere. And that'll be on the offense, likely a false start. And that is what they're signaling. A five yard penalty brings up third and seven on the 46 yard line. Third down seven. The quarterback looking to pass. Almost caught. Fourth down and seven. 
intended for Love. Almost had it, but that's an incomplete pass, and now offense stopped ice cold. Montoy is back deep to receive the punt. Look to build on this six point lead. to Huggis she's taken down by 52 people Here we go, second down and 10. The quarterback fakes the handoff and he'll take it himself. Around the 28 yard line. That's a six yard gain. Seven yard, that's third and three. Reynolds racked on that play. Looks like that was Ballins. Reynolds hit behind the line of scrimmage in the 25 yard line. It'll bring a fourth down and five. And that's Correction third six. down. And then it'll bring up fourth down and three. Jonathan works to punt the ball. And the receiving man, to no surprise, is number eight, Calum Harrison, which uh, just about everything but the kitchen sink for the Casey Washington Wildcats. And with about four minutes and nine seconds remaining in this third quarter, it's first and 10 on the Wildcats 48 yard line. The quarterback hands it off to the running back who will get little to none on that play. Cold and right. Going in at inside yeah, linebacker Lewis replacing Myers. Second down and eight. Smack dab on the 50 yard line. And a timeout will be taken by Washington. 
Don't go anywhere. We got a lot more Charger football coming up. Immediate here at Second down and eight, the quarterback throws to his intended target. That is number 10, Shakir Love, with the catch. Knocked out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Joe Galvin makes a stop for Big West. The Wildcats will take over on the 32 yard line. So far, my prediction of the Wildcats, uh, lack of a better word, giving up. Uh, not, not a. Uh, coming true so far as the Wildcats are still fighting here late in the third quarter. He hands it off to the running back. Williams ball here. Takes ball at the right side. Gain of two on the play to bring up second down and eight. A two yard Cooper rush by Williams. Williams. Brings up second down and eight on the 30 yard line. If you buy a 50 50 raffle ticket, get out your tickets. We'll get the winning number here in just a moment. There you go, Harrison looking to pass and wide open. That's the pick down to the 15 yard line. Derek Jones with the catch. The Wildcats creep in closer and closer to the end zone. If you have your 50-50 tickets out, the winning number 4815-84. Again, 4815-84. Oh, yeah, yeah. They stop here with absolutely shut down on the momentum the Wildcats have gotten here. Of course, they've had a lot of red zone success tonight. As they start on the 14-yard line, the quarterback dumps it off before he gets tackled. The pass is incomplete. We'll bring up second down. Incomplete pass at second down and 10. That has been a rare sight tonight. Passing attempts really by either team, but when you yield to 200 pound plus halfbacks, I mean, why wouldn't you rush it nearly all the time? Here we go, the quarterback again trying to pass and Bowens is wide open for that catch. And, complete, the the 45, and there's a flag on the play for the Chargers there's secondary. The Having there's no there's answers there's for the passing game in this drive. Refs are debating what the flag was for. Some of the refs here pointing towards the um, a holding penalty, but
Defensive holding call to go against the Eagles. And after that, it's about second down and two after those flags. Quarterback looking to pass as there's another flag. Looks like would be holding. That flag will almost take that play back. That penalty to go against the Wildcats. And after the penalty, that second down at 16, back on the 20 yard line, and that snap is low, recovered by Harrison. And that'll bring up third down. With a minute 10 left in the third quarter. Go Third down and 20 on the 25 yard line of the Chargers for KC Washington. Trying to piece together what broken uh, drive. And before that ball was picked off, there was a penalty flag thrown. And the Chargers will decline the penalty and take over off that interception. Boy, the Washington offense feeling a little discouraged there after what seemed like inevitably a Washington touchdown after a couple of penalties pushed them back and overall just collapsed and threw that interception as a timeout is called. And the Chargers are back on offense. Hoggis takes the ball. He looks like he may go all the way, but he's taken down around the 45-46 yard line. And the momentum has really shifted in the direction of the Chargers. There's a late in the third quarter. This first half has been nothing but Chargers dominance. If the, Charger, if the Chargers can score on this drive, that may just do it for the Wildcats. As Huggins was initially tackled, 
And flags are thrown everywhere after Huggins is taken down. Huggins down to the 33 yard line. There is a penalty flag on the clock. And there's a man down for the Chargers. We'll be right back after the assessment of the injury. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Mem and we're back. Those penalties will push the Chargers back on Watching 40 yard line, first and 20. Caught by his receiver. By the way, that was Kalak Arzarte, who was down on the play, but he walked off the field on his own power, so he'll be fine. And the Turgeon are gonna wind out the clock. And as we head to the fourth quarter, the Chargers lead 21 to 15. And we'll be right back with the start of the fourth quarter. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees. So we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank. 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Beginning of the fourth quarter. First and 15 on the 46 yard line. The Wildcats. Reynolds drops way back, passes. Caught by the running back, Huggis. Huggis down near the 38 yard line. He's taken down around the 38 yard line. Barbosa with the stop, it'll bring up third down and nine. And it is now third down and nine. 
Reynolds looking to pass and through the hands of the intended receiver Myers, kind of a late hit there. No penalties on the play. So with that incomplete pass, it's fourth and nine on the 39 yard line of the Wildcats. Reynolds will punt it. An excellent punt by the quarterback. We placed deep in Washington's own territory as the Wildcats take over. First down and 10 on their own two yard line. Wildcats running out of time here. It's still young in the fourth quarter, but they have to go 98 yards to get back in contention with this game. And if the Wildcats have been gaining yards like they have, it may take a long time for the Wildcats to get this game back in competitive terms. The running back stuffed on that play. That's a one yard gain, which brings up second and nine on the three yard line. And a fumble. Almost kind of looked like the quarterback tossed it out less than having it knocked out. There's a big third down and nine for the Washington Wildcats. It's getting loud here at Hummer Sports Park. All the pressure on the Wildcats as the quarterback looks to pass. Dropped by his intended receiver, Mike Jones had it, just couldn't control it. And that is fourth and nine on the three yard line. I'd be willing to bet almost anything that the Wildcats are gonna punt it on this play. Back deep or relatively deep is Montoy Berry. Not having to go very far for this punt. He's around the 37 yard line. Here we go. And that is out of bounds around the 28 yard line. And the momentum really is shifting towards the Chargers now as they'll take over. Boy, the Chargers really need to score here. Not need to, but certainly would uh, put the icing on the cake for the Chargers. Boy, the Wildcats really seem out of it, even though this game is well in contention for them. They're only down by a touchdown without a point extra as Reynolds passes downfield. That After that point, Miraculous catch. It looked like that pass was broken up. 
But it's recovered. Who left the longest pass of the night by Reynolds and the Chargers on the one yard line. First and goal for the Chargers. Boy, I don't think I've seen more of a contested catch by the receiver there. As Reynolds trying to run it in, may been taken down for negative yards there. Reynolds in the keeper. Brought down by the interior of the Second goal and Chargers will resume second and goal on the two yard line. Reynolds hands it off to Michael Mariani who gets the touchdown and the Chargers increasing that lead to 12 points, 27 to 15. Boy, this has all been going downhill for the Washington Wildcats as they were up, but now they look like a completely different team, and I mean that in a negative way. And to pick what to take a time up, perhaps to uh, see whether they want to go for two points or a kick, and we'll be right back after these messages. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. At Linden State Bank, we understand that money doesn't grow on trees, so we provide the next best thing. Friendly, comfortable, and competitive financing. Common sense residential and commercial lending. That's Linden State Bank, 1535 Southwest Fairlawn Road, Topeka. Linden State Bank, big enough to serve, small enough to care. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And we're back. And the Chargers look like they're gonna go for it. Here at the second down attempt, Reynolds hands it off. But he will be stopped short of the goal line. Two point conversion failed, but still the Chargers lead. 27 to 15. And now I'm afraid that this game is slipping through the fingers of the Washington Wildcats. Seeing their lead go away and seeing that deficit just increase and increase. Austin Tiffany to kick it off. Yeah. 
boy, just about. Receiver Kiwan Love looked like he was going to get away with a kickoff return touchdown, but he was taken out of bounds. And after that, the Washington Wildcats will resume on their own 49 yard line. Considerably good territory for the Wildcats from where the kick was actually received by Love. And the quarterback hands it off to Timmons. And that is a seven yard gain by Timmons. <laughs> The Chargers hard to take down that running back. I believe that was Bowens. Big man imposing his will on the defensive line of the Chargers as Washington now in Chargers territory. First and 10 on the Chargers 33 yard line. Washington Wildcats still have a pulse, still fighting. Harrison hands it off to Timmons who himself passes it. Well over the head of the intended target. That ball goes out of bounds. Kind of a desperate play there by the Washington Wildcats. Wildcats certainly feeling pressure now to score as there's eight minutes and two seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. And the quarterback, Harrison, will dump it off to his target. Marvin Bowens, going for a man of his stature. That kid is very agile, as flags are thrown by the refs. Has done very well receiving and rushing the ball, both of the running backs for Casey Washington. And that's unsportsmanlike conduct by Casey Washington. And then I'll push him back to the 35 yard line, first down 10. Charger defense signaling for the crowd to get loud here on first and 10. And before the play can even 
get off. There's a flag thrown by the ref. And that's a false start off on the offense. And that's two straight penalties by Casey Washington. Boy, in this second half for the KC Washington Wildcats, it seems like they get closer and closer to the goal line. They feel more pressure and just shoot themselves in the foot. They were on the 33-yard line, but are now pushed back way to the 40-yard line as the quarterback passes to his target, Love, who Gets that pass broken up. He turns to the secondary. Harrison looking to pass. Ball caught out of bounds. And now the Washington Wildcats are faced with a third down and 15 on the Chargers four yard line. Gets the low, the low. <laughs> and with that incomplete pass brings up Fourth down and 15. Timeout. Washington, their final timeout. And Casey Washington will take their final timeout. We'll be right back after these messages. Harrison slow to get up after that play. <laughs> and the Chargers will take over with just under seven minutes left in this fourth quarter. First and ten on their own 42 yard line. Reynolds hands it off to Huggis who kind of trips. 
Lucas with the short game. Making the hit. Number 52, Peoples. Gain of two will bring him second down and eight. Reynolds with the quick pass. Montoy Perry with the catch. We'll get the Chargers the first down. It has been a rare sight tonight for the Chargers. First down complete by a pass. Reynolds will take it himself. Taken down around the 42 yard line. I'm sorry, the 37 yard line. Second down and four on the 37 yard line. Michael Mariani in the backfield. Reynolds again will take it himself. And get the first down for the Chargers. And now with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. First and 10 on the 28-yard line. Reynolds hands it off to Michael Mariani. A big gain on that rush. Mariani down to the 20-yard line. Seven yard gain by Michael Mariani. Here we go, second and three. Reynolds handing it off to Michael Mariani, who was instantly met by the defense. Mariani hit it to run the scrimmage. They bring the third down. Tackle made by Joe Timmons. Timmons with the stop for the offense. A manageable third and short for the Chargers here in the Wildcats territory. Reynolds again handing it off to Michael Mariani. And that's good enough for a Chargers first down. Reynolds will keep it. Dives at the end of the play near the 10 yard line.
Here we go, second down and five. Reynolds again hands it off to Michael Mariani. Be taken down for the short yardage gain. Peoples with the initial hit. Third down and one. And it's third down and one. Oh, and the ball lost by the quarterback, recovered by the Chargers. There's a man down for Casey Washington. We'll take a break. And for the first time this game, a field goal attempt will be made and by the Chargers. And that field goal attempt failed as that snap wasn't quite handled right by the quarterback. Casey Washington will take over with less than a minute left. The Wildcats would need a miracle to even tie this game up. Because they're facing a 12 minute deficit. With less than a minute remaining deep in their own territory. Quarterback completes the pass. That'll be a no gain on that pass. Washington now feeling the pressure here as he fumbles that snap, recovers it, and taken down.
And the running back, Evans taken down, and just like that, it's fourth down. And there you have it. The Topeka West Chargers get their first home win since 2006. Chargers begin the year 2-0 as they become the king of Kansas City, beating both Casey Schlegel and Casey Washington to begin the year. And your final here from Chuck Lower Field at Hummer Sports Park. The Chargers 27, the Wildcats 15. Oh, what an impressive showing by the Chargers defense in that second half. Pitching a shutout and really giving them no chance at all to get back in this game. Boy, Charger Nation standing tall and prideful here. Now the Chargers have equaled their win total from a season ago. And the Chargers still have seven games to go. Well, what a start by the Chargers. And what an accomplishment by the coach, John Tetron, who's completely turned this program around. Hopefully we'll be seeing a big crowd like this as the Topeka West Chargers take on their crosstown rivals, the Topeka High Trojans. As we close out our coverage of this game, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Linden State Bank, for underwriting a portion of this project. Good night, Charger Nation. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. One shot.